hello students welcome to neat wizard so in this video we are going to discussing about the remaining portion of the animal kingdom so let's start it from the phylum core data animals belonging to phylum core data are fundamentally characterized by the presence of notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits these are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ system level of organization they possess a post anal tail and a closed circulatory system now differences between the chordates and the non chordates so first we see chordate notochord present central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single pharynx perforated by gill slits heart is ventral a post anal part tail is present now non chordates notochord absent central nervous system is ventral solid and double gill slits are absent heart is dorsal if present post anal tail is absent phylum chordata is divided into three sub phyla urochordata or tunicata cephalochordata and vertebrata sub phyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates and are exclusively marine in urochordate notochord is present only in larval tail while in cephalochordata it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life some example urochordata acidia salpa dolilium cephalochordata brainy gastroma amphixius or lancelite the members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period the notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult thus all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates besides the basic chordate characters vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two three or four chambers kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs now the vertebrata divided into agnetha and gnethostomata in the agnetha legs jaw in the agnetha the class cyclostomata included and the gnethostomata bears jaw but it divided into two super class also pisces and the tetrapoda in the pisces class condyocytes and the osteocytes included but in the class tetrapoda the class amphibia reptilia aves and mammals included so first class cyclostomata so all living members of the class cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes they have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws their body is devoid of scales and paired fins cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous circulation is of closed type cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water after spawning within a few days they die and their larva after metamorphosis return to the ocean now some examples of the class cyclostom first is terimizon also known as lamprey and mixin also known as hagfish now class chondrocytes so they are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endo mouth is located ventrally notochord is persistent throughout life gill slits are separate and without operculum 
The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales, which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two chambered, one auricle and one ventricle presents. Some of them have electric organs, for example, torpedo, and some possess poison stream, for example, trigon. They are called blooded, called blooded animals, known as poikilothermous animals. They lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization, and many of them are viviparous. For examples, solidone, also known as dogfish. Restis also known as sawfish and the carcharodon also known as great white shark and trigon also known as stingray. Now class osteocytes. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined, mouth is mostly terminal. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum. On each side, skin is covered with cycloid tenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates beyond C heart is two chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are most oviparous and development is direct so some examples marine forms axocetus also known as flying fish hippocampus also known as sea horse freshwater labio also known as rohu catla also known as katla clarius also known as magur and the aquarium beta also known as fighting fish and the pterophyllum also known as angelfish. Now, class amphibia. As the name indicates, amphi means dual and the bios means life. Amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Most of them have two pairs of the limbs. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist without scales. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the air, alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca, which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs and through skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is indirect. Some examples of the class Amphibia, Bufo, also known as Toad, Rana, also known as Frog, and the Hyla, also known as Tree Frog, Salamander, also known as Salamander, and Ichthyophys, also known as Limb Lace Amphibia. Now, the class Reptilia. The class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and conified skin, epidermal scales or skewers. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs when present are two pairs. Heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are pikeltherms, snakes and lizards said their scales as skin cast. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Now example. Kilone also known as turtle and the testudo also known as tortoise and the chameleon also known as tree lizard and the calotus also known as garden lizard and the crocodilus also known as crocodile, alligator, 
Hemidictylius, also known as wall lizard, poisonous snake, as Nasa, Cobra, and the Bangerus, Crete, and the Vipera as a viper. Now, class Aves. The characteristic feature of Aves birds are the presence of feathers, and the most of them can fly except flightless birds, for example, ostrich. Deposits big. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming, or clasping. The tree branches skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers. The crop and gizzard heart is completely four-chambered. They are warm-blooded, homeothermous animals. They are able to maintain a constant body temperature. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct now some examples of the class as corvus also known as crow columba also known as pigeon and the cetacula also known as parrot and the struthio also known as ostrich pavo also known as peacock and the apteno dates also known as penguin and the neopharon also known as vulture now class Mammalia. They are found in a variety of habitats, polarized caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands, and dark caves. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristics is the presence of milk producing glands, mammary glands, by which the young ones are nourished. They have two pairs of limbs. Adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming, or flying. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinna are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four chambered. They are homeothermous. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate, and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with a few exception and development is direct for example of some oviparous mammals ornithorhynchus also known as platypus and the viviparous macropus also known as kangaroo teropus also known as flying fox and the camelus also known as camel and the macaca also known as monkey ratus rat canis dog phallus cat elephant elephant equus horse and the delphinus also known as common dolphin and the balanoptera also known as blue whale and the panthera tigris also known as tiger and the panthera leo which one is also known as so audio notes for the animal kingdom are fully completed from the next video we are going to discussing about and the audio notes for the morphology of the flowering plants and after that the anatomy of flowering plants okay thank you